Middle what about Lake working Peele. with Jordan? Oh, uh, Jordan Peele, I think is almost in a, in a weird way the same way. It's like what I love about Jordan is is more or less with movies too, and it spoiled me a little bit because that was like my first feature film. That was yeah, Get Out was, and. Well, first real feature. I mean, I, shout out to all the people I did the independent shit with. But yeah. Like, <laughs> real movie guy. Um, <laughs> what about my shit? You don't remember that shit, Little Red? We did it for $15. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, he was just, I love the fact like he did something that I wish all the directors did was like gain my trust and, and was cool with my process. You know what I'm saying? Like he knew everybody's different processes and went with that. He didn't ask us all to do one thing to make it. He just came in everybody's world to get us to get the best out of us. Yeah. And if and more or less for me, he'll like, all right, give me, you know, what I wrote, whatever, and then give me a rail take. And because he was gonna give me a take to do whatever I wanted to, I'd do whatever the fuck you say. Yeah. Cause I know you're gonna let me have fun. And then when you watch the movie, I forgot that what I was saying. So most of the stuff, we was doing a panel one day and he was like, Yeah, rail, that's that's not, I know you give me props, but like. I use most of your takes. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. shit. Did you have big. any sense when you're making that? Is it possible to have any sense that how, how like, impactful that movie was going to be? I had a feeling about that shit after I booked it. After you booked it? Yeah. I never forget. I, I've told this story a couple of times, but it's a real shit. Like, I, I was doing my last um, callback, and it was with Jordan. And it was for the original ending, which was the sadder version mm -hmm. of the movie. What was the original ending? Well, like, he went to jail, and I was trying to help him tell me what happened and shit like that. And he just was like, fuck it, man. I'm a black man. Nobody gonna believe me. And this, this is, is it. what it is. So it was just dark. dark. Jesus. <laughs> and, but Jordan was like, we can't end this shit like that. People already know that could be a reality. That's, this is a movie. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> let's make people leave the theater ex happy and excited, yeah. you know? And uh, we did that, though. We did that read, and I was waiting on my Uber, and that's when Jordan came out while I was waiting. It was literally six other people that I even, I knew that had to read with him. He was yeah. like, yo, it's yours. Right then? Right then. That's exciting. Wow. I was like, oh, shit. But I, I just, and I just walked down the street crying. Wow. I, I just watched it a month ago. It's just, it, you just, I think we all knew after the trailer, though, because we, we did reshoots. I remember, I remember seeing that trailer. People and were so excited about it. You know what's shit. crazy about seeing the trailer? I saw the trailer uh, when I was in the theater when I was watching some other movie, and it was a mostly empty theater. Like it was like a daytime. When mm -hmm. I forget the movie I was watching, and the trailer plays, and there's like 15 people watching this trailer, and people were like, like hollering and like I've never seen people react in a trailer, especially 15, 20 people. I was like. This is nuts. Like, like the energy in, in the for a trailer to go like that was pretty crazy. I'm gonna always be, you know, I, I, it's weird because you have some actors that be trying to like if, say they in something like that. They be like, I don't want to be associated with it. They're only known for this or whatever. Yeah. But man, I feel like it's like historic and you know, totally. beautiful. It's very historic. I like. I still, I still get goosebumps when I watch people watch it. Yeah. Like, it was one of the craziest experiences of my career, of my life. Just, like, the night and day of what happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy because even, like, you know, Tiffany Haddish, my good friend, like, we had Get Out Girls Trip back to back, and we were still doing Carmichael show. Really? So that year was just crazy to be on set and how supportive Gerard and And we don't do that shit without Gerard okaying it. Right. Oh, well, yeah, because he's got to let you get you out. let me, yeah. Oh wow, wow! That's crazy too because everything you hear, everything you hear, especially when you listen to that Cat Williams interview, is there's so much animosity and gameplay within that, and then you hear someone going, "Oh no, man, I want you to blow the fuck up," and it doesn't sound like. I I tell you the one thing I love, and this I don't know this, this is going to sound horrible, but I just love the way a black director shoots black people. It looks different, and yeah. it and it's just like I, see, I, I hate it, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. 